Hey friends, welcome to the channel. Today is an interesting day. We're at the Trivet Clinic in Union Grove, North Carolina, and this place is supposed to be haunted. So we're going to take a tour through here tonight and see what kind of paranormal activity really happens. Let's go do this. Okay, thank you. Y'all have fun. All right, guys, here we go. We'll walk down here and <laughs> the guy's going to tell us about this stuff, I believe. Hey, how you doing today? All right. All right, we're in the rooms. in the different rooms and I just barely turn the light on that way they can use the energy to turn the light on for us we've not been having a whole lot of activity with the lights so far this year so maybe things will change with you <laughs> so if you want to find a seat or just kind of step back so everybody can see down the hall okay one thing that has happened this year Philip is in this room. He was here when it was a nursing room, nursing home. And he has rolled his leg into the floor a couple of times, so. Maybe he'll do that for you. Nancy's in this room. She's moved it off in this room. You can look at your legs in the wardrobe door for you. I'll put lights in your rooms. Feel like there's one on the little stool at the foot of your bed. Vicki, your lights on your bed. Vicki and Philip were here when it was a nursing home. And they were actually boyfriend and girlfriend. Vicki's husband was also here. But he was crippled, so he couldn't get out of bed. So Vicki got her a mobile boyfriend. <laughs> so they stayed. Her husband went on. <laughs> I've got dowsing rods and use these to look for water, but we use them to talk to ghosts. So who wants to try them? Now you don't have to hold it real tight. It's just a copper tube with a piece of wire. Anna's holding the rods for you. Can you point them straight ahead for her? Can you point both rods straight in front of her? Can you point them straight in front of her? Right in front of it, let them stop. Thank you, Eric. Now, can you make a cross with them? Cross one over the other. Flirt with Anna later. <laughs> Can you point it back? 
stack in front of her and cross them over, cross one over the other. Okay, Eric, Becca's holding the rods. Can you cross them for her? Make an X with them, cross one over the other. Thank you, Eric. Now can you point them straight ahead? Can you show us where Anna went? Can you point that on? Guys, this here used to be the operating room. This was the operating room? Mm -hmm. And the only thing I can feed you had an eastern exposure, so you had a lot of natural light for the biggest part of the day. The cabinets and the sink were original to the hospital. A little room. And this, and this is where the boyfriend and girlfriend. Vicky's in that room. Philip's in this room. Who is Eric? His daughter brought him to us. She came here every summer for a tour, and he came with her and stayed with us. What was his name? That was. She moved in. She moved in. And she said she could always feel things in the house. So the reason they put flashlights in here is because sometimes the spirits will actually turn them on. But he said this year, not so much. I guess the ghosts jam out sometime. We got some record players. It's me. You want to play ball? Can you push it out of my hand? I'm not waiting. I'm just standing. Enough for Nancy. She had a baby. She was unmarried. And they took her baby away from her. 
looking forward to that and offering this room. Especially for the baby sounds. Can you roll it to your bed out of my head? Ooh. Ooh. Well, if you go through that closet, that would go right into the next, the closet in the next room. She's coming. She said, I'm out. Yep. She's coming. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like three times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she won't do it again now, will she? Because we're asking her to. She did. She turned around to look at, you know, Jason. Michael or whatever, or Jason, whatever his name is. Yeah. Did something happen? Yeah, the yeah they turned on the light three times. Oh. Can you turn on the light? That'd be really cool. Turn on the light. Please? I think we're invading their privacy. It would look so good on my YouTube channel. Would you please turn on the light? I have the Why is it? video with the little light. What is it? Can look. Wait, why is it flashing? It's me moving the phone, but the light goes with it. Right, a little green light? Mm-hmm. Which room was that? Vicky, it was the one, the third one down. Vicky's room. Oh, it was the one with the mirror in it. You done? You don't feel like playing anymore? Yeah, yeah. We need to stop invading the privacy. <laughs> oh, there we go. Is it open? Oh, the, light. the light's on. Hi, thanks. You wanted an Thank audience? You. you needed some more people, huh? I get that. I get that. Oh, you're not going to. Look at the light on the screen. It's cold right here. Yeah, I feel it. Right here. Yeah. I feel it. <laughs> I felt like a chill on my left sh arm, even with my coat on. Yep. I could feel it a little bit. Right before that happened, though, almost like. There we go. Just went off. Thank you. I think we're going to go down you. and visit your other yeah. housemates. Other roommates. That was cool. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. 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 And then the light come on. It's like it coming in the room. It was so bizarre. Oh my god, that would just. <laughs> that was so wild. Yeah. <laughs> I hope whatever that was stays here. Don't follow me. All right, friends, we're going to head downstairs now. And uh, see what's happening. All right, guys, we are going downstairs. Basement now. Just waiting for everybody to show up. And then we're gonna see what other crazy stuff we might unearth. That light is awesome. He actually, um, the, the guy that actually told me that was David. And uh, he was actually, he hung himself. There was a lot of story to it. But we'll talk about that later in the car. Yeah. Down here, there was um, the dentist office was in the back corner. And then you had patients' rooms along the walls. And the cafeteria was in the back over here. Got a hair in my mouth. And um, back in the 30s, they didn't know how to deal with mental illness. And especially when it was a detox center as well, um, 
they would chain the patients to the wall to keep them from hurting themselves or hurting the people that were taking care of them. When Doug and Tim came to work here, the chains were actually still on the wall back there. Um, down here we have Al, who we think was in the detox center. He will pull your hair, he will touch you, he just likes to mess with you. And we have um, Helen was a nurse down here and Shorty was a caretaker. They call him Shorty, but it's funny because he's like 6'5". He's not short. And Dr. Trivet has a flashlight on the back table back here. He'll turn off and on. And especially tonight, since it's a full moon, if you watch really carefully back here, the light will get completely blocked out because there'll be a shadow pacing just back and forth, back and forth. It's like he says, this is my territory. I'm taking care of it. Don't come back here. So you can watch him and I front he will pace. And we have Jimmy, he was a little boy that was a patient here. He was scalded and he passed away. And Majesty, she is probably seven or eight years old. And we think she was a daughter of one of the nurses that worked here. And I don't know her story, I just know she's here. And her flashlight stays on the stairs. So we'll see if we can get her to turn it on. If not, we'll see if she'll play ball with you. And she has the little ball in the center of the floor there, and maybe she'll turn it on too. And if anybody's wondering, the Braves are winning four to one. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was asking about that. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to turn the light out and we'll sit for just a minute and let your eyes get adjusted. Majesty, do you want to play ball with somebody? You want to play with Brandon? Big push. Go push. You can do it. You're supposed to look at it. <laughs> <coughs> That's my stink. Is he making it hard? My bad. Are you all flat? Are you all flat? Mm -hmm. Don't. Yeah. Do you still have to do this one? Oh, okay. There it goes. I 
ain't that just my hand? I didn't do such a thing. There's no proof. He was talking about it, doesn't he? Yeah, he did a lot of fighting over there. Let me give it a try. Let me try. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was me. Oh, thank you, Majesty. Thanks. You want to play ball? You'd rather do that? Oops. Have we hit this? Give it a big push, Majesty. Well, guys, that was quite an interesting little uh, turn of events there, wasn't it? Well, this concludes my video today. Uh, it was pretty awesome. This is the clinic, the Tribbett Clinic in uh, Union Grove, North Carolina. Uh, during October on Friday and Saturday nights, you can come here and pay $10, go on the same tour that I just went uh, upstairs, downstairs. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. All right, guys, I'm, uh, I just got back to my Jeep. And I gotta say, that was very interesting. Um, <laughs> I, I, I just don't know how to explain what I just seen. I mean, I've heard stories about this place for quite some time. You know, my, my mother, I mean, a lot of people have talked about this place over the years. Um, when we was upstairs and we was in that like hallway area and they was doing those rods, that was pretty cool. But, you know, was the rods really moving because the ghost was moving them? could possibly maybe but when i was in the room and i felt the um the cold come over my left shoulder and go down like underneath my jacket okay this was not like cold air coming in through a open window this was cold air beneath my jacket that started at my shoulder worked its way down <laughs> to my hand and then the lady next to me then felt cold and then the light come on there was nobody touching the light the light was you know by itself totally we were just watching it because it had previously before i got into the room the light had come on and come off they had turned it on and off a few times the 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 spirit did so that was really really cool i really was like wow that was that was interesting how do you explain that you know that was that was something else and then going downstairs once again the ball once again the ball was kind of like you know maybe somebody ain't holding their hand totally steady you know but okay i'll play along with that but once again the light 
all of you know all by itself sitting on the uh, the stairs that goes you know that we come down on and she laid the light down there and then while we're busy doing the ball thing all of a sudden the light flickers and it comes on and then it goes off and then later on while we were down there toward the end it come on again when the woman was sitting over there close to it you know so nonetheless i'm not here to say ghost or real or anything like that i'm just saying this was a lot of fun it was something cool to do and it is really interesting when you're there and you're witnessing all this stuff and you know like firsthand and the aura that you feel inside the house is nothing like I've ever felt before. It is, it does feel like there's like a, like just something there, an aura. That's the best way I can explain it, man. It feels unsettled. It feels different than any other structure I've ever entered or been into, you know? So yeah, that, that's, that's about all I know to tell you on that. Um, this was just my little overview, to, to, you know, because it's very dark out here, you know, uh, they're, they're, they are, you know, I mean, they play up to it nicely with the lights and everything being off and the little orange lights down the trail to the, to the clinic. So, uh, yeah, but uh, a little backstory to it, you know, it used to be some kind of a clinic hospital thing and, um, and Dr. Trivet was there, you know, I don't. They, he didn't really talk a whole whole lot about that stuff, but um, I don't know. I I didn't do a whole lot of research on it leading in. I just I have heard stories. It's been a hospital doctor's office type place, you know, f you know, for quite some time. So uh, this is actually like a a gardening center now, you know, and that place is just still standing, and they use it in October. And they've actually had, um, I think, Discovery Channel. Some different, I mean, like big time TV people have come here and uh, actually did some specials on this place. So I had to come check it out, right? So, uh, yeah, this concludes my video for real. I'm really done now. But I did, I was just make, having some thoughts I had to get out and kind of tell you what I thought about this, you know. Um, so I had a little walk to get back here to my vehicle. So that's it. I think it's a lot of fun. If you're in this area and you want to have fun during the month of October with some friends or family or whatever, it's a cool little eye outing. These people down here are so nice and so welcoming. And they they have, they ha I mean, everybody is just so cool down here. So uh, uh, they have a lot of a lot of stories. They, have, they also have some pictures uh, when you first get here. They had some pictures. Um, I didn't video it because it was so dang dark out there. And when you put a light on it, it glares a lot. So I didn't even bother with it. But they have some pictures of past stuff where they have caught spirits in mirrors and things like that. And they say a lot of times when you look back at your pictures that you make at this place, you will see all kinds of shadows and, you know, just eerie looking stuff. So, um, yeah. So I'm really finished now. This will conclude my video today. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you like this video and you think this is interesting and maybe you want to come here and uh let them knock the ball out of your hand or talk to them and see if the flashlight comes on come on down ten dollars it's about a and the tour lasts about an hour roughly so uh give it a try because they say you know any night any given night can be a different outcome and you might see something totally different than the group you know that come before you so any given night something good can happen or if you're scared of ghosts, it might not be so good. So that being said, I'm the Hitchhiking Yeti and I'm out and I'm ready to go home now. And hopefully nothing follows me. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. This was fun. <laughs>